Hey lovely folks, welcome back or welcome in if this is your first time joining the channel. My name is Chrissy and it's a pleasure to bring you this video in which we're going to talk about the top 5 reasons why you should play The Last of Us 1 Remake in 2023. As someone who just finished the game including the DLC of The Left Behind, I am excited to share a few very valid points that will hopefully make you start to play this masterpiece as well. And before we get into the top 5 reasons, I would like to recap the game, but at the same time, I would try to remain as spoiler free as possible. And if somehow you have never heard of this game before, it's an action adventure game developed by the company named Naughty Dog and published by Sony Entertainment. And the story sets place in a pandemic outbreak of a deeply and deadly fungus infection amongst people. Everyone who becomes infected as they are called in the game turned into the globally used word zombies but i would say they are definitely different and a bit scarier than your random zombie and for me this game was an adventure based on a lot of emotions and very intense stealth fight scenes 20 years after the outbreak started our main characters joel and ellie meet due to a series of circumstances and joel has to take care of ellie and bring her to a specific place two specific people which i can only say it's pretty vital to the story and kind of vital for saving humanity and bringing an end of the pandemic outbreak itself and uh this was also not my first time playing the game since i played the game back for the first time a year uh, a few years ago uh but i enjoyed every single minute of it again and um i was so happy to be able to play this on finally on hard difficulty which gave me a little bit of a challenge but i was able to wrap things up in under 30 hours including the dlc and i really loved every minute of it and there is nothing that i can say that that i did not like about about the game I felt like I am there and I am going through the same journey together with Joe and Ellie and the hype of this game is truly real and worth it. Now why should you play it? Reason number one. The new and polished improved graphics and also the game finally becoming available for PC as it was only a Sony exclusive up until an year and a half ago. Now, um, The Last of Us 1 is actually not a new game. Originally, it was released 10 years ago in 2013 for PS3. And I gotta tell you, the difference with the graphics is huge. When I originally played it, it was on a PlayStation 4 remastered. And even back then, the experience was extremely smooth and nice. Playing the game this year, though, on its remake, just took things on the whole other level. The um, entire environment around looks amazing, even though the game tends to be very dark most of the time. Okay, I lied around 80% of the time. Regardless of, regardless of the release year though, the game's graphics have been frequently named by critics as the best for a PlayStation 3 game and named as an unmatched in console gaming, truly one of the best exclusive ever released by Sony. When the game came out for PC, there were some bugs that frustrated a lot of gamers, but thankfully they were patched and everyone can now enjoy smooth gameplay and truly experience the game. Also, on a very slight note, I would like to notice The Last of Us 2 was named Game of the Year a few years ago, so that should definitely kind of make you want to get into that uh, franchise train and start off with the first game, because why not? Reason number two. Similar to reason number one, the ambient and atmosphere of the game. Now, Last of Us 1 brings to the table an ambient soundtrack that will make you feel like you're in the game every minute of it. As someone who has played lots of game titles, I must admit this game and the soundtrack of it has kept me captivated from the very first until the very last minute of the game. Whether you're playing the game on headphones or enjoying it from your speakers, you will surely be amazed at how well on point each scene is synced. When it comes to the atmosphere, as I mentioned just a while ago, the game is truly dark. There will be times where even the flashlight won't help guide you or prevent you from seeing a random chilling infected. This, however, in my opinion, is not a con because it portrays the environment in the best way possible. Uh, be wary though, make sure not to turn off your flashlight while you're being chased by a bunch of infected. Reason number three, characters and infected. Apart from my main characters, Joe and Ellie, The Last of Us 1 introduces a few others and their stories that are all truly heartbreaking. 
what I personally love about this game is how amazing all the secondary characters were portrayed in a world where everything is turned into chaos and everyone has their own way of surviving. It is very interesting to be able to experience and see the stories of others. And overall, prepare for the emotional roller coaster that the game brings. You will be laughing, crying, and just questioning life itself on this journey. Speaking about the infected, why are they even included in reason number three? Well, simply because there's a lot of them and different varieties as well. What is truly cool is that the game introduces you constantly to new species of infected, which every single one of them has a different ability and each is deadlier and scarier than the one before. This makes things even more frustrating because it leaves you thinking logically and finding ways to either go into a full battle mode with each infected or find ways to avoid them and escape stealthily. Whichever approach you take, there are no wrong answers even though the game is built for stealth gameplay and if you're a fan of those types of combats, you will surely enjoy this game a lot. Reason number 4, the DLC, The Left Behind. One very good perk of most games nowadays is when they also include a DLC. It tells you an additional story and lets you experience a game differently. With The Last of Us 1, the DLC of The Left Behind is truly worth it and honestly brought, brought more tears and emotions than the main game itself. Why is that so? Uh, this chapter brings you down to memory lane and lets you play with Ellie who meets up with her best friend Riley and they go on a short adventure together that will make you feel very awesome, have you laughing a lot of times and also probably truly break you because as most things in The Last of Us, happiness is very hard to achieve and a little bit overrated. Experience playing with Ellie and um, seeing things from her perspective. In this DLC, things are a mix between the past and the future, as it also relapses and shows a gap in the main game, a specific story that was left out. If you get your hands on a copy of The Last of Us 1 and you finish the main game, do not miss on playing this DLC. I promise it's worth every minute of your time. And um, here we are to our last but definitely not least reason number five the last of us tv show produced by hbo sadly for us gamers when a broadcasting company picks up a game and try to turn it into a show or a movie in most cases the producers were not so good or memorable but that's not truly the case with the last of us i do have to admit i was very very skeptical uh, that anyone can portray the game and bring that special feeling into action but hbo not only did that but absolutely set the bar up too high with their show representation a lot of people who haven't heard of the game before started to play it after watching the show. And I can probably speak from all of us when I said we're all excited to see more seasons representing this franchise. I would say the same point goes uh, for the masterpiece of a cast itself in the face of Pedro Pascal portraying Joel and Bella Ramsey as Ellie. The cast and the producers included, a back included background stories of how the infectious infection spread a full episode of the DLC and also a full episode on one of the secondary characters and their story. All of which, in my opinion, were truly 10 out of 10s. Now, I uh, truly hope this short 5 reasons might make you consider it even for a little bit to give this game a try and see how you like it for yourself. According to Google, the game is about 15 hours long if you play it casually and around 23 hours to obtain 100% completion. For me, along with the DLC, it took me a bit more than 25 hours on hard difficulty and I highly recommend to walk around in every single area, try to find a lot of hidden achievements, notes to tell the story of side characters that you will never meet, recordings, comic books, pendant collectibles, literally scoop the whole place up, but most importantly the bathrooms. You will thank me later. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have already played a game, name a reason in the comments below why you, what I might have missed out or something that you love about the game yourself. And for those of you who haven't played it yet, well, you can still drop a comment below and let's discuss it. Maybe there is still a chance I can convince you to change your mind. 
and I will make sure to do a review like this after every single game that we finish on the channel. So the next one in line is no other than the remake of Dead Space. If you would like to get yourself notified of any future content on the channel, please click on the little subscribe button below. It will be truly awesome and appreciated. See you again soon. Stay safe and stay awesome and enjoy your day.